get ready. I'm, I'm gonna call you Dougie Fresh yeah, right now because yeah. like this is like a really fresh <laughs> look. Okay, actually, what inspired this look today? Because I'm seeing the chains and the shirt. Um, I mean, one, I always wear jewelry. Um, you know, so it, it kind of just that's just what I like. Uh, the look really. That one artist, uh, that's what his name is, um, he made this shirt for me. So um, obviously, you know, Mexican Heritage Month, just, you know, kind of want to rep it. Um, I love the design, I love the way it looks, and, you know, obviously got the 9 9 chain yeah. on, the, on the dude, and I got it on. So it's just, man, just a little casual look. I, you see a couple other guys wearing this shirt, so I think it was a big hit uh, between the guys. Talk to me about last night's game and the crowd here, like how, just how amazing it was. I mean, the crowd's amazing. It's unbelievable, you know, from from pitch one to, to the last pitch, man. It's just every at bat we get two strikes on a guy. They stand up, they're clapping, they're they're yelling. Um, it's just nonstop energy, man. It, it really is unbelievable. And as a player, we feed off of that. And you know, these games get long out here, so sometimes they'll be like, you be like, oh man, I'm dragging a little bit. And then right away, a chant happens or something. So, uh, the wave, you know, it's, yeah. people start yelling and right back in it again. Now, these types of games, it, it, the mental energy like that it takes to play them day in and day out, how, how do you guys cope with that? Is it, is it feeding off of the, the fans and, and just feeding off of each other? Yeah, definitely. I mean, at this point, it's just like this is the funnest baseball you can play, man. This is, this is the best. So every pitch matters. Um, and, and really, it's just like there's no, there's no individual side of it. You know, you get out, yeah, you might be upset. But it's not like, don't show it, you know what I mean? Go up, hey, next man up, you know, what, yeah. what can we do? So uh, that's that's the best thing about this game is like, you gotta have a short memory and, and you know, you just gotta, you gotta hope the next guy gets it done. And, and you, for me, I just try to make it easier for the guy behind me. When you guys are ahead by that much early in the, in, in the game, is it easier to play or do you still play with a little bit of pressure? I mean, it definitely is easier because you, you jump out to that lead, you get it, but it's also like at the same time, you don't want to, you know, get complacent, sit back. This offense with Houston is is um, unbelievable, and, you know, they could they could jump out and, and put up a cricket number at any point. So for us, it's just, hey, we get that big lead, we get that big inning, all right, well, let's keep adding on. Let's, let's get one or two every couple innings, you know. We just got to, you got to keep bringing that score up. Talking about the Latino heritage and the culture, I know you don't speak the language, but I'm sure you you listen to the music and you eat the food. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent, absolutely. But like I said, I'm hoping in about two years, man, we'll be able to speak and and be a lot more comfortable. My girl's gonna teach me, so we're, we're gonna be we got it ready. It's never too late. No, nah, it ain't. It ain't. I want to talk to my dad in Spanish too, man. So it's it's been always like a goal of mine and a dream of mine. So uh, it's it's gonna happen. Now, when we talk about food and culture, what's the what's your favorite dish? I'm a, I'm a carne asada tacos guy, man. I, I love it. You know, um, you know. I, I mean, I love all Mexican food, really. But but some good, authentic tacos. That, that that's what gets me going. You talked a little bit about how your mom really pushed you in baseball. What? what how does she feel watching you? Probably nervous, man. Probably like how every mother feels, just you know, anxiety, but also proud. You know, I just. They did a lot for me uh, growing up. A lot of sacrifices. A lot of traveling. So. Uh, you know, anything that I could do, man, I'm just trying to come out here, play as hard as I can. I love the game, so it makes it fun. And, uh, you know, obviously in the future, just try to set up my family the best that I can. So When you look back at where you came from and where you started and where you are now, what are some of the things that maybe flash through your mind when you're on that field? Oh, uh, man, um, I, mean, I still get a lot of, like, like pictures back in my head, like, uh, of, you know, tournaments, um, 12 you you know going to california going across uh different states just you know the the travel the being in a car with my family for several hours going to a tournament uh it's just you think about all the hard all the hard work man the grind the the you know the the weekends that i didn't get to you know be home with my friends and, and i was traveling out of state it's just there's a lot of sacrifice that comes into this and you know when you're out in this stage it, it makes it it's like kind of like it's worth it you know you start all that hard work, man, it, it paid off, and, and you're here for a reason. Lastly, um, we saw the news about MLB now taking care of housing for minor leaguers. What does that mean to you uh, being in the big leagues now? But looking back at those are the hardships, man. That's huge. I mean, honestly, the minors is the hardest of the hardest, man. It's just, you know, it, it's nice if you're a bonus baby. You know, you get some money, and, and you can you can hold it down. But, you know, those guys that are signing for 5000 these guys that, you know, are, are truly grinding and have to work and, you know, have other jobs on top of, you know, baseball. 
it, it's going to be big for them, man. It, it's just, you know, the way that minor leaguers got tra treated down there or, or just the how much money the guys just, man, it, it was a ripoff. And, and I'm happy to see that at least housing is going to get taken care of. It's, it's one less uh, thing that minor leaguers have to worry about. But, you know, there's still a ways to go down there that, you know, we got to make it better for them guys. Thank you so much. Good luck.